another increase to triple-digit COVID cases across the state today. The health department reported 127 new cases, including 103 on Oahu and three on Molokai. Health officials also reported one new death, an Oahu woman over 70 who had been hospitalized with underlying conditions. Today's case count is the highest in a single day since back in March. So why are cases rising at the same time vaccines are being more widely distributed? We spoke with Lieutenant Governor Josh Green, who says pockets of those who are unvaccinated can lead to outbreaks. Molokai has had 19 cases in the last week, including three more Sunday. Where I was a doc in Kau, uh, definitely in the very rural parts of Maui, Kauai, and Molokai, we see some pockets of people that would prefer not to be vaccinated, and they can end up having an outbreak. Green says the state now has administered about 1.5 million vaccine doses. That'll be about 750,000 people in the state, you know, fully vaccinated. We're getting close to the point where we can say we're safe. But until we have about a million people vaccinated, I think we're going to still see some outbreaks and mini surges here and there. The more people vaccinated, the less of a chance for breakthrough cases. Green says right now there are only 49 COVID-19 patients in Hawaii's hospitals. It's the hospitalization and, and critical illness you want to avoid. And then also the long COVID concern. I have, I have known a lot of people that did not die of COVID, but have had significant problems with uh, thinking clearly, with aches and pains that they've not been able to escape, extreme fatigue. That's about 30% or so of people who've had COVID. It's not a small number. That's probably 10,000 Hawaii residents. The next phase of vaccinations could include kids age 5 to 11. That's if Pfizer's clinical trials go according to plan. Green says emergency use authorization for this group could come in three weeks. So they're still doing that study. They're being very careful, of course, with our cakey. That's what we care about most, but that's coming. For now, he's happy with the response for those 12 to 15 years old who were made eligible just last week. For those teens out there, I'm really proud of you for leading the way. Uh, and and uh, when adults said you weren't going to get vaccinated and you did anyway and you took it upon yourselves to jump into this in the first weekend, that was just great. You really are, you know, you're great citizens.